Not every dog is gonna bark in the neighborhood, but... And my neighbor's gonna start a motorcycle. Howdy, Wanderer. Welcome back to Chasing Ghosts. Or if it's your first time to the channel like it is for many of you, welcome. Today, I'm doing a prep video of a Middle Cambrian trilobite, which I wouldn't typically start with an intro like this, but it's been one hell of a weekend, and I'm gonna tell you about it. It started off with Saturday, I was able to play a large gig with my band for the first time, which went extremely well. And then followed up by Sunday, Milo released his video of us digging together, and now the channel's about to hit 1K subscribers. So thank you. I'd like to thank Milo profusely for helping jumpstart this channel so early on. I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for seeking me out to enjoy our time together learning about a wide range of paleontological topics. And now that I have a small following, I'd like to plug my band, Only Child. As I said, we played a pretty big show this weekend that I just put up on our YouTube page, Only Child Band Page, and I'm actually a songwriter above all. So if you like rock music or just music in general, I'd love if you could check it out. Enough said, welcome to Chasing Ghosts. This is Elrathia kingi, one of the most, if not the most, recognizable trilobites in North America. This organism is found in prolific numbers in Utah's Wheeler Formation, dating back to the Middle Cambrian 513 million years ago. Elrathia lived in extremely harsh environments. They flourished in borderline anoxic zones that most life could not survive in. It is likely because of this oxygen depleted ecosystem that we are able to find Elrathia in such large volumes because these conditions were most favorable for fossilization. Elrathia were particle feeders that scavenged the ocean floor for food, avoiding predators like Anomalocaris. Now enjoy as I quickly, but carefully, bring this fossil back to life. Before I start prepping, I'm going to show you the tools of the trade. All the way on the left here is what's called an air scribe. This uses compressed air to oscillate this metal tip which chips matrix from the fossils. I will not be using this in this video, however you will see this tool used a lot in future videos. This is the stylus to an air abrasion setup, which uses compressed air paired with a fine abrasive powder which kind of sands matrix off the top of the fossil. This is a little hand pick. I use this in very delicate situations where I could send a piece of the fossil flying, which is not ideal. And this is Paraloid B72. This is a resin which dissolves into acetone or isopropyl alcohol, which when used on the fossil dissipates, leaving behind this varnish. All of this work is done inside a blast cabinet to keep the fine dust and rock from hitting me in the face and going all over my work area. Elrathia are some of the best trilobites to cut your teeth in fossil prep. They are tough little bugs that typically require very little effort to remove the last bit of matrix surrounding them. You'll see this in how quickly I was able to prep this specimen, as I don't even need to time lapse the process. I'll now leave you here in peace to watch the last bit of prep that's left.
This turned out to be a beautiful chocolate brown specimen with both cheeks preserved. It made for a quick, easy prep project, perfect for testing out my filming setup. Well, Wanderer, it would seem our journey is quickly coming to an end. I'd once again like to thank Milo for the amazing opportunity to work together and dig alongside each other. And I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for seeking out my channel and sticking this video out to the end. I know this video was brief, but its purpose was to test out my film setup for future prep videos, as well as acknowledge the amazing growth in the channel. If you stick around, the next video will be a lengthy project on the Carboniferous Fossil Site in Centralia, Pennsylvania. If you haven't yet, check out the previous video on the Middle Devonian Fossil Site at Swatera State Park. And while you're at it, find me on Instagram and TikTok at Chasing Ghosts. As for now, thank you for watching. This was Chasing Ghosts.